Hello everyone. Today we are going to study the KD trees, a data structure very useful for speeding up the nearest neighbor finding in the KNN uh, classifier. So far, we've been kind of naive in the implementation of the K nearest neighbor classifier because we actually, in our code, calculate the distance of the new data point to all our training points. And turns out that actually is not necessary. So the idea is like we can use a data structure to store the data points of our training set. And then we can use the data structure to make a much more efficient search. So this data structure, it is called the KD tree, short for K-dimensional tree. And what it does is to partition the space and organizes our K-dimensional points. Let's assume, for example, we have this training set. And then we need to classify this new data point. In other words, for now, let's assume we just want to find the nearest neighbor. Okay. In the naive implementation, we will have to go and calculate the distance to all our training points and then choose the one that is closest or the one that has the shortest distance. But what if we had something like this? If we were to organize our training sets in such a way that we sort of have some information about their location, we could be more efficient in our search. In this case, we could know that after calculating the distance to this particular points, it wouldn't be necessary to calculate the distance that are in the gray area because we will know that they are located in areas in where the distance cannot be smaller than the distance that we have calculated so far. So how we represent in our computer these cuts? Basically by using a tree. So this is a visual example in case we want to cut a three-dimensional space as in the cube creating these cuts, for example, the first cut done by the red hyperplane could be easily represented by one node in a binary tree that has two possible values, greater or smaller than the value of the cut. In other words, the location of this point in this axis, right? So after producing the cut, let's say we move through the left side of X, we will be located in this side of the hyperplane and we want to create a green cut in this side. Basically, we just need to add another node, but now to create a cut in the Y axis. So for example, here, we put that node and depending if we go to the left or to the right side, we will be in the upper or in the downside of this cut and so on. So here we can see that in order to represent such an organization of points within a K dimensional space, we just need a binary tree. How we construct automatically this tree? Well, it turns out that the algorithm is quite simple. First, we need to choose an axis, for example, X, and then we sort our data points according to that axis. After that, we find the median of the sorted list, and we set that median as root of the tree. And we start again recursively calling the same four steps for the list of points that are in the left side of the medium and also calling recursively for the data points that are in the right side of the medium. Let's see an example. Assume we have this list of data points. So we first choose the axis X. Then we sort our data points according to X. So here we realize that is first to three, four, seven, and so on. So we are sorting according to the first element of our data points because our axis is X and three is to find the median of that list. So sometimes we not actually have a median because we have a pair number of points, like in this case where we have six data points so we don't we have actually two medians right so in general we just need to decide at the beginning for a default case so let's assume that by default when we have two medians we're going to choose the one of the right side so in this case it's going to be 7,2 our median now we set that median as a root and divide our remaining data points in two groups, the ones in the left side of the median and the ones in the right side of the median. 
So far, what we've done, if we want to see this geometrically, is basically we created a cut that passes in the number 7 for the axis equal to x, right? Because here we were analyzing the axis x. And given that the point is 7 in that axis, we are creating a vertical cut here. So this is why we have this blue line in this plane where we also draw all our data points. So now we have the root of the tree and these two groups. And guess what comes now? Basically a recursive call that is going to do the same for each of the sides of the root node. So now we start again with the left side. What it means, we need to again choose an axis, but now it's going to be the other one, right? We are rotating the axis. So if we start with X and then we go with Y, X, Y, X, Y, and so on. If we had three dimensions, we will go X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z, and so on, okay? So now the axis is Y. We again sort our data points here according to the axis, right? So this is where you have three, four, and seven, and these are the sorted data points. And now we choose the median again and as root. In this case, it wasn't necessary to choose any side because we had an odd number of data points. So our median is 5,4. And what we are doing is creating a new cut that passes through this point. But given that we are in the axis Y, this is a horizontal cut in number 4 here. Now we continue. Here we just have one data point, so there's nothing to sort. And we set this 2,3 as the new median. This means that we created a new cut here. This is a vertical cut because now we are again in axis equal to X. And so it's a cut in X equal to 2 right here. And we do the same with 4,7 where we create a new cut here and it's vertical again because we are still in the axis X and in the number 4, right? Which is right here. Now we need to continue with this side. So with the right side, the axis is Y. Recall that we started with X in the root. We need to sort our data points according to Y. This create this sorting and then we need to choose the median again we, we have two medians right so we need to choose the one in the right side and it's going to be 9,6 so this is our new root and this creates a new cut here this is a horizontal cut because we are dealing with the axis y and is positioned in the number six right here and the only remaining data point is 8,1 which is a new node with the axis equal to x so it means we're creating a new vertical cut in the number eight right here. So that's it. This is the way we built automatically our KD tree. So this is the pseudocode and we are going to actually implement this in Python. But let's take a look to it. This is actually very simple. We just need the object list and the indicator of the depth of the tree. So if we have no data points, we just return an empty set. We need to see the dimension of our problem, which is basically the number of columns for the data points. And then we need to calculate what is the current axis. And it's basically the depth of the tree module K, right? Because we are rotating the axis. So we're going to need to increase our axis. And uh, as soon as we reach the last dimension, we go back to the first one. So we sort our data point list according to the axis. We calculate the length of our uh, data points because we're going to need that variable later. And uh, we subtract the median of the object list, as we know, is the one right in the middle when we have an odd number of data points. But it's going to be, for example, the right one in case we have a, an even number of data points. We're going to take care of that in the code later. And then we set um, a new node with the median and we call for the left child of that node the same function recursively. But now we just pass the left side of the list, right, from zero to the median. And we increase the depth, right? And we call recursively again the same function to set the right child 
of the node with the list of objects that are from the right side of the median. And again, we increase the depth and we return this node. So this recursive function returns a, a binary tree that represents the KD tree of our training set. 